You're looking at live pictures there. We are just minutes away from the landing of the space shuttle Discovery and the end of its final mission. Live pictures there. We'd like to welcome our viewers watching from around the world on CNN International. Once the shuttle touches down, Discovery will have completed 39 missions and spent the equivalent of a year in space. It will have orbited the Earth more than 5,800 times, logged more than 148 million miles. Live pictures you see Discovery right there are CNN's John Zarella. He is at the landing site at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Astronaut Clay Anderson is with us from Johnson Space Center in Texas. And meteorologist Jackie Jarris, she is watching the weather. I want to start with you, John. What are we seeing right now? Well, the winds are a little bit uh, peaking a little higher than they had originally thought, and they passed that information on to the crew, uh, to Commander Steve Lindsay just a few minutes ago. And uh, Discovery crossed the coast of Florida at Tampa uh, about three or four minutes ago. We saw those first images of Discovery at that point. So folks all across Central Florida, if they're looking up, getting a good look at Discovery, we ought to hear the sonic booms, the twin sonic booms here in just another couple of minutes as well. Suzanne? And John, what set the scene for us on the ground there. Obviously, there's lots of people who are watching. Yeah, I just a matter of minutes ago talked to the flow director, uh, Stephanie Stilson, been in charge of getting Discovery ready for the last 10 years. Discovery She's all excited. 15 busloads of people, NASA workers, employees, family members are all here. NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden here as well. We just heard the twin sonic booms. Discovery's uh, pretty much overhead, Suzanne, coming in for the last time. Let's, let's listen in, John, if we would, uh, to NASA. Oh, they stopped speaking for a moment. I want to go to you, Clay. You know what it's like to Discovery be aboard that shuttle right now. Well, what, what's going on through their heads, through their hearts, as they prepare to land? Well, they're all very focused right now. Um, you know, S Steve is getting ready to land the shuttle, and it's and we're counting on him. You know, the shuttle has no capability to uh, do a go-around, so it's a one-shot deal, and he's very focused on what he's doing. He's looking at all his data to make sure that he brings her down as smoothly as possible. What does it feel like, that moment when you're actually landing? Discovery crossing out over the Atlantic. It's kind of surreal. Uh, there's You, you kind of let out a sigh of relief because you're safely home and back on the ground, but then... Uh, kind of immediately once you roll out to the end of the runway, uh, you're back in the checklist, you, you, you take a second to talk to the Mission Control Center and congratulate one another, but then you're right back in the books making sure that you shut down the orbiter appropriately so that you can be begin your exit as quickly as possible. What do you go through physically when you're landing in that position? <laughs> I can only speak for myself uh, at this point. I was feeling pretty warm. It gets kind of hot in the, in the cabin and uh, as you move your head within your helmet, if you do it too quickly, uh, you can get a big sense of, um, uh, of spinning going on in your brain, and, and that's kind of an uncomfortable feeling, and it, it's likened to when you uh, have motion sickness. So you have to be very careful, you have to move very steadily and very slowly to keep your wits about you. And Clay, we're being told it's just two minutes to landing there. Can you give us a sense of what is the most critical uh, aspect of this in order to have a successful landing. Twenty times higher, and the glide slope is seven times steeper. Well, Steve's going to going to guide the orbiter uh, by flying it through the stick, but I think Eric Bow has a very critical job. He's going to have to bring down the landing gear for Steve, and of course, we assume that the landing gear is going to come down normally. But the crew is ready to to follow the steps that they would need to do to bring it down in an alternate fashion if they needed to. But I think it's going to be just fine. Heads up display will allow. Clay, I want to just listen in if we could to uh, to hear. NASA at the controls to uh, find out what they're saying about uh, this landing that is happening as we watch. Discovery speed 370 miles an hour. This is Space Shuttle Discovery's final minute of flight. Looks like we uh, lost the live pictures uh, there of the uh, the final minutes of its uh, landing there. As soon as we uh, have that, we will bring that back to you. Let's space Shuttle listen. Discovery now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. Just more than 30 seconds to go.
Main gear touchdown. The nose of the shuttle being rotated down toward the flight deck. The parachute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown in the end of a historic journey. And to the ship that has led the way time and time again, we say farewell, Discovery. We've just seen the uh, the final landing. Let's take a listen. Discovery Houston, uh, Pinto, great job by you and your crew. That was a great landing in tough conditions, and it was an awesome dock mission that you all had. You were able to take Discovery up to a full 365 degree or 365 days of actual time on orbit. I think that you'd call that a fleet leader and a leader of any manned vehicle for time in orbit. So, job well done. We'll meet you in the post-landing tab for post-landing, currently no deltas. And copy that, Scorch, we're headed to 5-3, and uh, I'd like to thank you and your team and all the orbit teams for a fantastic mission, as well as the Expedition 26 team on orbit. And I'd also like to thank KSC, who has given us a perfect vehicle from start to finish on her final flight. Well said on all, and we totally agree. Thanks, panel. Discovery's final landing, a job well done, is what the crew was just told. Uh, Clay Anderson, uh, you, you saw the landing there. It's an end of an error for a Discovery. What does that mean to you? Well, it's a bittersweet moment. I spent 17 days of my life on board Discovery, and, uh, you know, it's a wonderful experience. She's been a workhorse of the fleet. Uh, the folks that have, have put her together and gotten her ready have just done an outstanding job and it's just a testament to the team of people and, and wonderful folks that work on the space program that she's been able to do 39 missions and 1.5 million miles and 365 days in space. It's just an awesome achievement. And John Zarella there on the ground, if you can hear us, uh, what is the reaction from your vantage point? Uh, you know, people were just standing and cheering and I, I, I couldn't see it, but I can guarantee you there were some tears uh, being shed uh, from a lot of the workforce here. Uh, and you know, Suzanne, uh, a year from now, it's gonna take about nine months for them to ready the vehicle, but a year from now, Discovery is very likely gonna be in Washington, D.C., up at the Smithsonian, and uh, millions of people forevermore are gonna have an opportunity to get right up close and, and see, you know, a vehicle that one astronaut told me, in fact, uh, it was Alvin Drew, who's flying on the mission, this mission right now, said to me, you know, we never in our lifetime again will likely see a vehicle like this, a lifting body that flies up, returns to Earth, and it'll probably be something out of science fiction. People will say, <laughs> it never, they never built that. It never really happened. Uh, that's that's uh, the kind of amazing technological achievement uh, the shuttle fleet has been. And, and Clay, this has been really described Talking as a very right emotional <laughs> moment for, for many people, such as yourself, the astronauts who are part of this program. Uh, indeed, some people have uh, described it as a, as a family member, a child. Uh, do you get emotional when you know that this is, this is the end of the era for Discovery? Absolutely. Uh, we've invested a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of effort into uh, Discovery as part of our space program and and there's a huge legacy that she leaves behind and I think that what people should take away from this is the pride uh, that we all should share in doing a job well done I mean it takes a lot of talent a lot of money a lot of effort a lot of folks working together to pull something off like this and Clay there's a, a new priority now with uh, with President Obama to look beyond the orbit and perhaps to to Mars is it a bittersweet moment for you to to give up this uh, the this, this shuttle program there are two others but specifically for discovery well change is hard and and it's hard for anyone uh, so the ability to move on it would be nice if in a perfect world 
if we already had a program set up that people could immediately turn their attention to working on the, the next challenge for NASA, but, but we're not there yet. It'll take a little bit of time. Uh, so people should, though, take the time to enjoy Discovery, to reminisce about Discovery, but then when the time is right, we're gonna turn and focus on doing the next uh, challenge for NASA. And John, let's turn to you because I know the next challenge is going to be Endeavor. We're actually going to see that uh, launch. Give us a sense of what is next. Yeah, Endeavor uh, will fly right now, scheduled for uh, April 19th. Uh, the rollout to the launch pad in the next day or so uh, from here at the Kennedy Space Center. And then uh, Atlantis will fly at the end of June. June 28th right now is the scheduled date. That would be the last flight in the shuttle program. And Suzanne, I can tell you, if uh, you have an opportunity to come down here for one of the last launches, it is, as Clay said, time to reminisce, a piece of history. We're never going to see anything like this again. And I know they're saying half a million people for the launch of uh, Endeavor in April and a million people this summer. It'll be a lot of humanity to fight through, but well worth it to come and see uh, one of these vehicles lift off uh, from the Kennedy Space Center. And ultimately, Endeavor uh, may end up right here at the Space Center. I know they're vying for it. Atlantis, which flew a lot of military missions, may go to uh, Dayton, Ohio, to the uh, Air and the Air and Space Museum there. Uh, it's going to cost $28.8 million for whoever gets these uh, other two vehicles. A lot of money, but there are museums all over the country that would like to house one of these vehicles. No question about it. And Clay, if I could go back to you, what are the astronauts doing now once they've landed? What kind of process are they undergoing right now? 19 hours, 4 minutes. Well, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to take off their gloves and their helmets and try to get as comfortable as possible. They're, they're going to be stuck in there for a little while. They're working through their checklist to shut down all the critical systems, especially the engines that have their fuel, um, you know, that, that's toxic stuff, so that the crew on the outside of the shuttle can come and, and begin to do their preparations so that the crew can come out. Uh, I remember that we were working very uh, feverishly, working hard, but we were very excited. Uh, to be back on the ground. We were very excited to have had a successful mission, but we had to keep our focus to make sure that we went step by step methodically through the checklist, uh, because the quicker you do it, the quicker you can get out of the vehicle and, and get cooled off and, and, and recover and get something to drink and something to eat and that sort of thing. So uh, sure. they're very focused, they're very methodical right now. All right, Clay, I want you to stand by as well as John Zarella. I want to give our viewers uh, another opportunity, if they will. This is a uh, tape that we're turning around from just moments ago, the final landing there of the shuttle Discovery. Main gear touchdown. The nose of the shuttle being rotated down toward the flight deck. The parachute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown in the end of a historic journey. And to the ship that has led the way time and time again, we say farewell, Discovery. Farewell, Discovery. We are seeing live pictures now as Discovery is there it has successfully landed its final landing we are talking about 39 missions uh, that spent the equivalent of a year in space it will have orbited uh, the earth more than 5800 times logged more than 148 million miles truly the end of an era for shuttle discovery i want to thank those uh, clay anderson an astronaut who has been on discovery as well as our own john zarella there on the ground watching watching this with us, uh, this uh, live coverage of this historic moment. Thanks.